We're heading out to uh, go check out this job. And this job is going to be a doozy. I just spoke to the homeowner today, uh, one more time, and let her know that after work, um, after driving my roll-off truck, I was gonna run out there, put eyes on everything that we've discussed um, over the phone, and start getting my plan together uh, for what it's gonna take to do this job. I look forward to uh, helping her out, helping her family out, and giving back a little bit from what I can do to help people with the equipment, the skills, and the knowledge that I have um, in this type of industry, you know, lawn care and, and stuff like that. And so I ask you guys, as you watch this video series, try to keep your, your comments positive for the, um, you know, for the homeowner. Cheer us on and, and watch the series. It's gonna be probably a five part series. I'm not exactly sure, but we're heading out there. You see the tripod behind me in the bed. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this apart piece by piece and see what this job's gonna detail. Okay, we are here, we're at the job and oh my goodness, let's take a look. We got the bushes here and on the, you know, you got your driveway up here, the house, and you got these bushes right here. You got a low hanging limb right here. It'd be nice if we can get this cleaned up, the driveway cleaned up, those bushes right there, right along the very front of the house here. These bushes right here cleaned up really nice come around shape all that up hack all this down and i would recommend we remove these trees we don't we don't need these trees here let's give her a nice big open front yard that we can put some sod down in the spring okay that would be my first recommendation over here is the priority though we come up the street you come up the street she backs out of her driveway and she wants to go to work and this is what she sees. Right now I got you at height level of a car. If you were sitting in a car, can you see the, ra the road? See how you can't see the road? It's dangerous. And she voiced her concerns to me about that. See that? I mean, that's dangerous. You can't see. So what we need to do is we need to go inside her fence and we need to hack all that down. All that needs to go away. And that's going to be one heck of a job. All this needs to be mowed. This needs to be hacked. And across the street, on that street pole, we need to put a mirror. So that's going to be our first priority, is we're going to get this area right here cleaned up. We're working on this side of the house first, numero uno. Number two will be this side of the house. And then we'll take it to the backyard from that point on, all right? On the inside of this little area now, we got a couple trees here that we need to cut down. This right here, we need to cut these down. These just need to go away. This whole area here just needs to be all opened up for view. All this here, hack, just hack it. We can dig them out another time, but right now we need to do this quickly and expeditiously. Now that I got eyes on the project, I know what it's gonna take. I'm gonna make a phone call. I'm gonna see if I can get some help. And help is exactly what I just got. You guys know Johnny from Blades of Grass? Johnny has an awesome lawn service and an awesome YouTube channel. So if you guys haven't checked out Johnny, please check him out. But Johnny came through for me in a clutch. I said, hey dude, I got a big job. All I have is this pole chainsaw. Can you help me out? He said, come on by Dan. I got a chainsaw you can use. He gave me a steel chainsaw. He said, go ahead, use it. Bring it back when you're done. Thank you, Johnny. I really appreciate it. So we're heading up now. Gonna get some fresh gas. It's winter time. I've had some gas sitting for about a month and a half. So uh, before I put any fuel in Johnny's equipment or my equipment, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get me some fresh ethanol free gas, put some steel two cycle mix in it, and we're gonna head on over to the job site. I'm gonna meet with the lady one more time, go over things, and then we're gonna fire up the camera. We're gonna start tearing down the dangerous intersection, getting that all cleaned out for her, and then we're gonna look at what's gonna be our next project for next weekend. So stay tuned, this is gonna be one heck of a transformation. I want to give a special thank you to Johnny from Blades of Grass who did come through for me and donated the use of his steel chainsaw. He did not have to do that, but I did make a quick phone call to him and he was like, sure, come on by the house, get whatever you need. So um, 
I grabbed this up. This is the Steel MS170 chainsaw, the two cycle chainsaw. So we fired it up yesterday. We know that it works and we are going to be using this today and uh, throughout the, all the series, uh, the video series that um, is going to be for this, this massive job. Uh, so thank you, Johnny. And I'm going to link to him right here. So you guys need to check him out. And then uh, at the end of this uh, part one, I'll go ahead and throw up one of his videos for you guys to check out. So uh, thanks again, Johnny. I really do appreciate, appreciate it. That's Johnny Blades of Grass. All right, you guys can find him on YouTube. But right here, we got one sole survivor that's not a steel. And this is the Echo HC152 hedge trimmer. Right. It's got the one inch bar right here. So, you know, you can, you can do some pretty big stuff with this. Um, this is a two cycle. So we're going to be using that today. We got the HL100K. This is the articulating head hedge trimmer. This is, you guys know, one of my favorite tools. You see how this goes. So you can reach in and get all up in the funky with your hedge trimmer right here. We're going to be using the Steel BG86 two cycle blower to clean off the driveway when we're done. We're going to be using the Combi system by Steel. This is the KM90R. This is a four mix. And with that, we have the chainsaw attachment for it, the pole saw. We got the weed eater, which we're going to use the .080 Oregon round line. I linked to that below in the descriptions. And so many people have been commenting that they've been switching to that line and they love it. So that's awesome. We're going to use straight shaft steel edger to try to find the crack of this driveway here. I'm thinking we're going to be able to get a semi in this driveway by the time we get all the grass off of it. That's going to be a part of today's goal as well. Over here we got our various hand tools. We got some really heavy duty loppers as you can see to help me get through some stuff if I don't need the chainsaw. Hard rake. Soft rake. Flat shovel for the driveway. Oh, brand new pack of gloves from Harbor Freight. Seven bucks for like 18,000 pairs. You can't beat Harbor Freight. Small engine oil, 30 weight. Backup for bar and chain oil. So if you if you can't ever get bar and chain oil, you can use 30 weight. Bar and chain oil by steel. Some tools. Steel two cycle mix. We already made some up right here. Here's my Oregon .080 line I tell you about. Hand uh, shears. And, ladies and gentlemen, stand back. I know. But we got ourselves a mower that we don't mind taking over some bigger stuff. You know, we can't... Uh, we can't destroy my Toy Build TB360, but we sure can put this thing to the test. Uh, this is actually the homeowners. Uh, she said that we can go ahead and use it if we need it for like a little bit of cleanup stuff. So that's just a 21 inch yard machine. I think she paid a little bit under a hundred bucks. Perfect little machine. It's got a side chute and you can mulch. So we'll go ahead and give that a go. All right, so for a reminder, what we got going on, we're gonna be trimming all this down to the ground. We're gonna open this whole corner up for safety, okay? We talked about that earlier in the video. We're gonna go down the fence line as much as we can. We're gonna go outside the fence and we're gonna clean that up as well. That is today's goal. The equipment we're gonna use has been outlined. That's the task at hand. It's approximately exactly 12.01. What do you say we get the show on the road? Okay, before we do anything, um, I do want to say I want to get this driveway done because by the time I'm done cleaning all this and working to the end of what I can do for today, I won't have the energy and I'm really curious about this driveway. So let's find the edge. Let's use the Comey KM90R with the straight shaft and see what we can do here. I cheated. I already warmed up some of my equipment. It's like freaking 30 degrees out. This, this stuff's cold. Including me. Thank you. 
Okay, so you see the right tool for the right job. That that steel edger is absolutely amazing. I mean, we went right through that like butter. If you notice, I went backwards because sometimes experience will guide you. Don't just do what you see everybody else do. Maybe you need to go backwards and you can find it, you know, a little bit better. I do it. Let me go ahead and clean this up, and we'll go ahead and take care of the other side, and we'll get started on them bushes. So you don't remember how bad a driveway was when you're working? Check it out. I'll zoom in. See all this dark spot? That's where all the, the vegetation was. you forget how hard I work for you. What do you guys think? Pretty big transformation already, huh? She's got a driveway. We'll clean up the uh, cracks here with the weed eater in a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. Don't really matter. It's winter. It's not like it's growing. But, uh... All right, man, we put it off long enough. It's time to get it. Okay, wait, there's one thing I gotta do first. I gotta use this little mower. I gotta use this little mower. We gotta clean this edge up. Let's do that real quick. That is, that's information that tells her she needs a better lawnmower because that's too low to cut her grass. So in the future, if she's going to cut her own grass, she needs a lawnmower that can go up higher because that's way too low. All right, now let's get to the, let's get to the hurdy dirty stuff while you're here. You guys want to see me tackle that crap. So let's tackle that crap. Ah! Oh wait, I mean with the equipment. Woo, I'm beat. How's that? Just kidding. like this, 
baby steps, small areas. Work a small area. Before you know it, you accomplish the mission. Alright, you guys see what I'm doing here, right? How I'm like, I'm chopping down, and then I take it across, and I chop down, and I'm just making a big mess, a really small mess. And then we can clean that all out with hard rakes, stuff like that, back the truck up here, throw it all into the back of my truck, take it across the street, and leave it for the county. So that's what we're doing. Our goal, I'm just making a big mess, a small mess, and manageable. And, you know, and look how much we already got done. And then some of the big stuff you see behind me, we'll take that down with a chainsaw.
all of that gone. Alrighty. So, you watched me do this square right here. This is like a pretty, this is a pretty bad area right here because of the tree and this sets up the view for looking down for traffic. So what I'm going to do now uh, is take, I'm going to take these plants down here, take this tree and this plant down here, and I'm going to run down the fence line some. There's a tree right there to take out. I'm going to run down the fence line and we're going to hop the fence. We're going to come on back. We're going to get this whole area cleaned up here for the cars so they can see. And then we'll tackle this area over here and get this all squared away. Then we'll use my truck like a wheelbarrow. We'll get it all across the street. And maybe do some running over this with the lawnmower or something. Just kind of kind of make it look a little good once we're all done raking it all up. And uh, part one will be done. All right, guys. Whoo, I'm winded. All right, we started at what time? 12 o'clock? 3.15. Let me show you what we got done. We got this area done here. All right, we went outside the fence and we went all the way down the fence and we mowed um, along the fence. So this area here all cleaned up and now as you look down the fence line look how clean that is. Holy crap huh? And we mowed uh, uh, what about six uh, six you know six rows out with the uh, that little push mower just to get it finished cleaned up. We picked up the pile that was over here we mowed this down all the pile of crap that was over here, we got that done. We got both sides of the fence done. Right now, I got you guys at about the height of cars. So you see those cars going by now? See how you can see them going all the way? We just made a very dangerous intersection much safer. Look at that. What a difference. Now, as people approach the intersection, they can see down. They can obviously see if a car is coming. Now, we got to do this. Guys, able to see that van? You see that van go by? Pretty neat, huh? So you can see now. We can see all the way down. Uh, we got that all cleaned up. Here comes a car. Can you see it? I think we did pretty well because I can see it. I don't just hear it. I see it. So I think we accomplished our mission. Um, I still got to finish this little spot right here, but we're running out of light, so I'm trying to get you guys some uh, some after pictures here real quick. So let's just take a look down the fence line here. Looking pretty good, huh? I mean, what a transformation. We cleaned up all around these trees. We came all the way out here. We cleaned all the way out along the street. We found her driveway. I still got to blow it off, but we found her driveway. Got that all edged up for her. Cleaned up all these piles of mess that was here and out there. Mowed the lawn down some. Picked up a whole bunch of debris. Cleaned up a lot of her low-hanging Spanish moss from now. So now, as we move on and we, we move down the side of the house here and we mow this, this side of the house will be done. And we're pretty much just taking everything down. Taking everything down. Gonna let her start over. There's actually a sidewalk right there. That white is a sidewalk to her front door. So we're just gonna take all this down. That might be part two or maybe we're gonna do part two over here. We'll leave it up to her to decide where she wants to go from here. Um, but I'm not worried about the grass because it's not gonna grow, you know, so But I just wanted to get all that cleaned up. I mean what a remarkable difference. Let me go back out here
So this was um, single mom rescue, and like I said, you know we're not we're not gonna make any money on her. Uh, this is a deal that we have worked out. She's gonna cook me a meal. I don't know what the meal is, uh, but I'm kind of excited to have a home cooked meal. It's been a little while since I had one, and that that makes it all the worth it, you know. And uh, just kind of giving back a little bit and helping people out that can use some help. And I know that she's gonna help somebody down the road who needs help where she can help. And uh, she's gonna remember this, and we're gonna make. You know about five or six videos out of this nice little job here I'll try to teach you guys something show you some ins and outs give you the confidence to get out there and do something maybe you wouldn't otherwise tackle you saw what I just did you saw how I did it um, you saw the tools that I used and you know we didn't bring in big heavy equipment or excavators or anything like that we used hand tools some muscle and it is 425 so four and a half hours we got all this done amazing with filming and you know filming takes a lot of time so uh, that's not bad at all your next question is going to be Dan what would you have charged for something like that I would have charged about a hundred bucks an hour labor that's that's about what I would have charged as long as I didn't have to haul anything away so she would have been looking at somewhere around 350 to 450 bucks for the for the job that we did using just the small hand tools that we used um, nothing I didn't have to rent anything no heavy equipment and I didn't have to haul anything out. If I had to haul stuff away, that would be extra, of course. Dump fees and hauling fees, that's all time. Um, but other than that, yeah, somewhere around 80 to 100 bucks an hour is what I would have charged for a job like this, all right? Because, you know, you might think that seems like a whole lot of money, but it's not because a homeowner doesn't have the tools that we have. So don't, don't rob yourself, you know? Don't, don't sit there and say, well, it's only gonna take me four hours, so just give me $100, 25 bucks an hour. It would take a homeowner four months because they're going to be out here with little hand snips. They're not going to have seven, eight hundred dollar hedge trimmers and chainsaws and the stuff that we have that makes it where we can accomplish a whole lot of work in a short amount of time. So don't screw yourself by underbidding. All right, work like this about a hundred bucks an hour. That's what you should be looking for. However, I will encourage you to throw a bone to people, and uh, if you can. You know, you make money where you need to and where you can, and then you give back where you should. So it's not always about money, right? So you just do what you got to do, but that would be about a charge, because I know you guys want to know. So that would be about a charge for just any old person that just came out of the street and said, hey, I got a big old job I need done. Can you do it? Give me an estimate. That's about where I would be looking at. All right, so total job on this entire place and what we're doing, somewhere around $2,000, I would think, uh, by the time the, um, all the work is done somewhere around there but we'll see we'll piece it out piece by piece look forward to uh, the next one and but there's one more clip I need to show you guys and that will be back at my house all right guys I said I'd be back with one more thing to show you guys back at the house we are home hi Rocky Mwah. love you buddy we're back home now we're done with our job for the day and as promised I got a meal made for me and unbelievable guys check this out Steamed vegetables, seasoned with lemon and pepper. Rocky, this is my food. You go lay down. An incredible toss salad with hard-boiled eggs, tomato, onion, cucumber, cheese, and avocado. Yeah! So I put me some blue cheese on that, and uh, of course the mixed greens. Awesome. But, guys, check this out. Talk about an incredible idea, a thoughtful meal. She made me a quiche. She baked me a quiche. That is awesome. That quiche right there, I think that quiche is worth four hours of my time. Don't you guys? When's the last time you had a homemade baked quiche? Pretty awesome. So. Like I said, sometimes you just work your deals out with your customers, you know, sometimes you meet people on the streets, sometimes you just say, hey, yeah, man, I can help you out, you know, and you joke around, you say, make me a meal, and I'll make your yard beautiful. Something just so simple, you know, maybe a guy who, who cleans cars, detail my truck, I'll detail your yard. So, hey, you know what I mean? Think outside the box, guys. Part two will be coming up, so if you haven't subscribed, please do. Stay till the end. Make sure you check out the video that we put up 
for Johnny from Blades of Grass for him sponsoring this, this video today with donating his chainsaw to the cause. So I really appreciate you, Johnny. Thank you very much. Please stick around to the end, guys, so you can check out his video and click the link. And his information is in the description below the video as well. All right? Thank you so much. This is what we came here for.